Recently, Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously allowed our association members to gather for an international seminar. It was a joyous occasion as Master and disciples reunited to meditate and pray for peace. During this precious time, Supreme Master Ching Hai also spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of our association members. The following is the discussion with Supreme Master Ching Hai with the theme, Believing in the Divine Power and Breatharianism, which took place on August 21, 2008, during the International Seminar. Any breatharian? I mean, seriously, you still want to be breatharian? Yes. How about we make a total non-existence of food? The thing is, we have enough food because the whole world eats. The cereal is about 40%, huh? And uh, the soya bean we eat only 10%. And the whole world. So even if you give up the food, and it won't amount to a lot anyway. So just uh, give the body what it needs, yeah? Not too much. Just control what you eat. You can eat anything, just not too overeating. Not the tray like this with mountain of this and hill of that. <laughs> No, if you eat them all, it's okay. If you eat them, <laughs> then it's good. I just don't want you to waste food. The cost of living has gone up also, yeah, it's true. It's gone up more than we realize. And the world people are still hungry. Not like the food don't have enough because they, they feed it to the hungry people, and then so there were not enough, but it's not true like that. It's true that they feed, you know, a million here and a couple of hundred thousand there, but it's not permanent. The best is that if we don't raise any more livestock, then uh, they have uh, food, just keep it for themselves to eat, so they don't have to sell it to the uh, meat industry. That would be the best.
every day I have something to feel sorry about. The bird outside, when I was in Himalaya, I saw some monkey. Mm, they are going down from the mountain, away from their habitat, and go down and, eat, and foraging the garbage on the street next to the market. Oh, my heart feels so bad. That was before I was even enlightened. I mean, I was still searching and walking different corner of India, and I saw monkey, you know, hungry like that. Normally they have fruit all over in the forest, and they eat and they drink from the stream. That's the way I imagine. I imagine their lives is belong to the jungle, you know, in the forest, and there will be fruits in abundance, and they don't ever have to go to the market eating garbage like that, and not even a lot of garbage to eat. They're just foraging in there. It feels so painful for me to see such thing. And uh, when I I was recently in Monaco, such a rich and prosperous city, and I saw many of the seagulls and the birds. They went into the also the garbage can in the park, digging their head in it and find a little bit something leftover sandwich and they eat it together. If they find some, maybe already not too bad. I'm in pain constantly, watching the way people treat each other and treat other fellow co-inhabitants. When I was in uh, Florida to take my staff out, you know, <laughs> because they like to eat some French fry. But I saw the man, you know, very old, very old, and he walked bending his back, and then he was also foraging the garbage, and he, he took out, you know, a quarter of a cup of a cola, and I began to drink it. And he keep looking for leftover sandwich or something. Oh, I feel so bad, so bad. I could not even cry, I'm just too shocked and too grieving. So I took him in the restaurant, and then... Uh, uh, invite him whatever he wants. And after that, uh, I gave him also like uh, four or five hundred dollars, and then we left. And it's not like a very expensive restaurant that nobody could afford to invite the old poor man. <laughs> 